Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy Montre. Today, I will be talking about penis size. If you're a child, you may want to leave the room now. Just click, click the video off. Click the video off right now. We're talking, we talking grown folks stuff. Grown folks stuff. Anyways, I was on a forum, a forum on Facebook, and this came uh, into. Uh, stop it! My dog is bothering me. Here, you want to be on video? He's <laughs> uh this was a topic of discussion and i want to know this is my question please tell me why are so many gay men obsessed with penis size it's like this and this is my thing okay i'm the asshole is only so big so i'm like why do you want these ginormous penis all up in your ass, stre stretching that motherfucker out of shape. You know what I mean? You got one ass, one. And when that when that booger gets out of shape, oh well, that's it. So you need a. You would think you know you would want something decent, a decent size, nothing nothing outlandish. But when when guys are chasing these uh these 11 inch about the size of this water burger they want some, they want to sit on this motherfucker i'm like really your ass is that big your ass is this big i can stick this 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 cup in your ass what what's going on what's really going on that your ass that i could i could fit this whole thing up your asshole your ass is, should not be this wide your ass should not be this wide i'm just saying i'm just saying sip my tea real quick and i you know i'm not talking you know yeah i'm talking about you but um it just i just find it funny i find it funny and I, i'm sure a lot of things are nice to look at yeah, or maybe you just want to suck i couldn't even suck anything that big I, I can't even suck anything that wide that's that's crazy that's fucking crazy. You say, hey, man. My dog is jumping all over the place. Do you think that's crazy? Do you think that's crazy? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Um, so I just find it, I just find it really interesting of, about what I call them size queens. That they're so obsessed that if you don't have anything bigger than 10 inches, yeah, they don't want to talk to you. Well, no. I I don't think I want to talk to you because if your ass is that wide, um, I probably wouldn't feel anything anyways. Just saying. Um, <laughs> and this one guy, he was on the forums and he said he loves a guy that's that big because when you go in, and he he says he doesn't feel anything until you go into that second hole. And I said. Stop, wait a minute, one moment. Second hole? Where the fuck is this second hole at? So I look into my uh, Google and I check the anatomy of the ass and I realize, oh, he's talking about the uh, lower intestine. Okay, if somebody's dick is so big that it has curled up into your lower intestine, yeah, that's probably not a good place to be. Yeah, that's, no. Your anus, maybe, but if that dick curls up into your lower intestine, that just doesn't seem like that's a good place. Mm -mm. Even if he does have a big dick, you may want to stop him at a certain point. Be like, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, you're moving up into my intestines now. Yeah, I don't want you to damage anything up there. And I saw this one video. Oh, you can find anything on the Internet. I saw this one guy, he had this humongous dildo, a humongous. It was, it was, I don't know how long it was. It had to be at least 13 inches because he sat it on the floor and it was sitting up. This, and there was a white boy too. He sat all the way down on that motherfucker and it was humongous. Mind you, when he got up, he was shitting. He, he was shitting because there's no way you're going to stick something up in your intestines. That's like what you call... It's like you taking a drainage pipe thing and you go, you got a clog in your drain. And what do they call that thing that the, the, the plumbers use? 
<laughs> and they put it down into your drain and they wind it up and then they pull out. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to end up shitting on somebody if you do that. <laughs> because no telling what's in your lower, lower intestine just waiting to come out. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm being nasty, but it just, it just amazed me. I mean, you, you can clean your ass. You can clean your ass pretty good. But when something goes up into the, I guess, holy of holies, there's no telling what may come out. So, and I, don't, I just don't know. Tell me, guys, what you think about that? What, what do you think about size queens? Are you a size queen? Are you a size queen? Now, if you're a girl, you want to you wanna stretch your pussy out. That's up to you. I mean, pussies are pretty, pretty resilient. If they could push out a baby and then get back in shape, I'm sure pussies are, are, are resilient. But ass, it's like, ass is like that, that like, like a sock. You can stretch your sock and it'll snap back. But you keep stretching your sock. You keep stretching the elastic on your socks. Sooner or later, that elastic is going to pop. So I'm just saying that. I'm just saying, you know, me preferably, I don't mind a little dick dude. It's a lot of little dick dudes. <laughs> if you don't do it, then who will?